Paradise Killer is a open world first person detective game where you investigate a terrible murder that's occurred on Island 24 of a uh, very strange world where there's uh, demons and gods and immortal beings and stuff like that. And there's a, a, a quite a cast of characters to meet and talk to and interrogate and present evidence to and, you know, discover holes in their uh, alibis and uh, compare and contrast what people tell you about where they saw each other. And all the conversation and dialogue and story stuff is good, well written, highly enjoyable. It could have done with a little bit more voice acting, but the occasional lines you get are delivered with some superb aplomb. The problem is the bits in between, where you have to walk between places a lot of the time, and there's a lot of like platforming to get collectibles and items. Like if I uh, meditate for a second, which is an upgrade you can unlock, I can show you that there are 70 billion collectibles that I haven't picked up yet myself because I'm not going for the platinum, and they include things like currency. Blood crystals I have in the top right, which are used to unlock upgrades for your character and for your computer so you can be able to acquire all of the truth in the story, and which you won't actually discover the proper truth if you don't have those things. And blood crystals are also used for fast travel because you can find a variety of phones around the island, and uh, these phones are used to save your game manually or to fast travel. And you have to spend a blood crystal to unlock it and then spend blood crystals to use it. I don't mind so much the idea of using a blood crystal to unlock something once you've found it for the first time, but fast travel itself should be free for a game like this, like especially in a game where there is a limited number of these blood crystals to even find. Because of the fact that it was using a resource I needed for story content, like buying secrets out of people or you know uh, finding relics of the past or indeed just give you upgrades for stuff like the hacking tool, I found myself not wanting to use fast travel and then getting frustrated with navigating the island because the island is huge and you'll frequently find yourself going to talk to someone to present some evidence and they're like, oh, but isn't that belonging to so-and-so? And then you have to walk across the entire island at about this pace to get to them. And of course, nothing in the island is just a straight walk because there's all these different paths and different ledges and things you can jump on top of and around and different ways to go and there's stairs and walls and gates and it's just not a fun time to navigate. Like I didn't enjoy getting around the island at all, even with some of the movement upgrades you can get from spending more of your hard earned blood crystals and things that don't look at all like they would give you upgrades until you find out about them. So I would, yeah, yeah, I'm almost done. I played this through PlayStation Plus Extra and not having spent any money on it, I enjoyed the story, I enjoyed the writing and I enjoyed discovering who had done what. And I had a good enough time with that to say it's worth playing this game. If there is a sequel, I would definitely be interested in picking up, but I would want a much more condensed playing area. Like, fair enough, you want to have some 3D exploration spaces to be able to do actual investigation of crime scenes. To, find things like, you know, tire tracks and places are not supposed to be or what have you. But having an entire world to explore just feels like blatant padding. And then making fast travel cost limited currency feels like you don't want people to use it because you want them to walk across your island to pad out your runtime some more. I would have had a much better time with this game if it had just been a series of menus to choose who I'd want to talk to or where I'd want to go. And maybe just having like smaller areas to explore to find hidden clues or secrets or whatever like crime scenes themselves like i don't need a far cry map to to go about in fairness it's not as big as a regular far cry map but you know what i mean i, I still felt like i was spending about maybe 40 percent of my entire runtime just running from one place to the other and going the whole time so yeah it's it's a fine game I like the story, I just don't like the parts around it where you have to get from place to place because it's just, it's just not fun. It's a shame, you know, it drags the experience down from being a, something I'd tell you is a must play to just a, you know, it's in a sub, you could probably play it if you wanted to. <laughs>